नाम इज जय कल्पना हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर वी आर गिवन अ नॉन एग्जैक्ट इक्वेशन व्हिच इज होमोजेनियस सो हाउ वी कैन से होमोजेनियस दैट द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज होमोजेनियस बाय एडिंग द पावर्स ऑफ अ वेरिएबल द पावर ऑफ y इज 3 एंड हियर टू टेक y x स्क्वायर ऐड द पावर्स 1 plus 2 3 and here you are having x y square add the powers 3 x cube again you are having 3 right 3 1 2 3 1 2 so from this we can say that the given differential equation is homogeneous simply by looking into the equation we can say that whether the equation is homogeneous or not okay we are given y cube minus 2y x square into dx plus 2xy square minus x cube into dy equals to 0 given differential equation y cube minus 2y x square into dx plus 2x y square minus x cube into dy equals to zero. Consider as equation one. Right. So firstly, we'll check whether the equation is exact or not. We we'll get non-exact. And second, we'll check whether the given equation is homogeneous or not. and we'll find mx plus ny if we get not equals to 0 then 1 by mx plus ny will be our integrating factor to the given differential equation okay so by comparing the given equation with This is in m dx plus n dy equals to zero form, right? By comparing these two, we'll get where m equals to y cube minus two y x square and n equals to two x y square minus x cube. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to s, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So let's find the partial derivatives of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. This is your m, and this is your n. Let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. Firstly. Do by do by of for m equals to y cube minus two y x square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so x will be treated as constant. Partial derivative of first term minus partial derivative of second term is equals to partial derivative of y cube with respect to y is. 3y square minus here 2 and x square are constant. You can write this as 2x square that is constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y. Is equals to 3y square minus 2x square into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1, which is equals to 3y square minus 2x square. Right now, let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do y do x. So for n equals to two x y square minus x cube is equals to. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so here y will be treated as constant. Partial derivative of first term with respect to x minus partial derivative of second term. With respect to 
x is equal to constant that is 2y square into partial derivative of x with respect to x minus partial derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square is equal to 2y square into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 minus 3x square which is equal to 2y square minus 3x square. So it's clear that the partial derivative of n with respect to y is not equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. From this we can say that the given differential equation is non-exact. Therefore, partial derivative of m is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. From this we can say that the given equation that is 1 is non-exact. Okay, now we will check whether the given equation is homogeneous or not. Let's consider the given equation. y cube minus 2y x square to dx plus 2xy square minus x cube to dy equals to 0. You can write this as y cube minus 2yx square into dx equals to minus of 2xy square minus x cube into dy. Right, or 2xy square minus x cube into dy equals to minus of y cube minus 2yx square into dx. Then dy by dx equals to minus of y cube minus 2yx square by 2xy square minus x cube. So this is of dy by dx equals to function of xy form. Right. So here we are having f of xy equals to minus of y cube minus 2yx square by 2xy square minus x cube. If f of kx ky equals to f of xy, then we can say that this function is a homogeneous function. Okay. If the differential equation involves a homogeneous function, then we can call the differential equation as homogeneous differential equation. So let's find f of kx ky is equals to for x equals to kx and y equals to ky simply substitute or replace x by kx and y by ky in f of x by and you'll get minus of ky whole cube minus 2 into ky into kx whole square by 2 into kx into ky whole square minus x cube that is kx whole cube which is equals to minus of ky whole cube can be written as k cube y cube minus 2ky into kx whole square can be written as k square into x square by 2 into kx into ky whole square can be written as k square y square minus kx whole cube can be written as k cube x cube which is equal to minus. Now you can take better. This is simplified. k cube y cube minus 2 into k into k square is k cube into y into x square by 
2 into k into k square is k cube into x y square minus k cube into x cube. Right. Now we can take k cube common from the numerator and from the denominator. Is equals to minus k cube times y cube minus we are taking k cube common from the numerator okay we'll get y cube minus 2y x square but take k cube common from the denominator k cube times 2 x y square minus x cube so here k cube gets cancelled It is equals to minus of y cube minus 2y x square by 2x y square minus x cube, which is our function of x y, right? y cube minus of y cube minus 2x, sorry, 2y x square by 2x y square minus x cube, which is our function of x y. Therefore, f of kx ky equals to f of xy from this we can say that this function is homogeneous since the differential equation involves a homogeneous function we call this differential equation as homogeneous differential equation right so now we are having a non-exact homogeneous differential equation so now what we have to find mx plus ny is equals to m into x plus m 2xy square minus x cube into y is equals to xy cube into x is xy cube minus 2 into x square into x x cube into y plus 2xy square into y y cube minus plus into minus minus x cube y which is equals to xy cube plus 2xy cube is 3xy cube minus 2x cube y minus x cube y is minus 3x cube y Okay, so now we can take one three x and y common from these two terms. This is equals to three x y times y square minus x square, right? Which is not equals to zero. You're having one three one x and one y in both the terms, right? So we'll take. 3xy common from these two terms. Fine. Therefore, mx plus ny equals to 3xy into y square minus x square, which is not equals to 0. So, here the suitable integrating factor is 1 by mx plus ny which is equal to 1 by 3xy times y square minus x square. So now by integrating the integrating factor to the given equation we will get an exact equation that is the given equation is reducible to exact by multiplying it with integrating factor 1 by 3xy into y square minus x square into the given equation y cube minus 2y x square into dx plus 2xy square minus x cube into dy equals to 0. Consider as equation 2. Okay. So, this is a reduced equation which is exact. 
we'll see whether the reduced equation is x at or not. This equals to y cube minus 2y x square by 3xy or simply you can divide the whole equation by 3xy into y square minus x square. Then, y cube minus 2y x square by 3xy into y square minus x square into dx plus 2xy square minus x cube by 3xy into y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. You are having two terms in the numerator and consider this 3xy minus y sorry 3xy times y square minus x square as one term then you can split the total expression into two terms. y square y 3xy into y square minus x square y cube, okay, not square, minus 2y x square by 3xy into y square minus x square into dx plus, here also we split the total expression into two terms by considering 3xy times y square minus x square as one term. 2xy square, 2xy square by 3xy to y square minus x square minus x cube by 3xy into y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. So, 1y gets cancelled from the first term, then we we'll get y squared by 3x into y squared minus x squared minus here 1x and y, 1y gets cancelled. We will get 2x by 3 into y squared minus x squared into dx. Plus, here 1x and 1y gets cancelled, we get 2y by 3 times y square minus x square minus, here 1x gets cancelled, only 1x, x square by 3y into y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. So in the numerator you are having y square and in the, in the denominator you are having y square minus x square. So what we'll do is, we'll write numerator in terms of y square minus x square. So in order to write the numerator in terms of y square minus x square, we'll simply add plus x square or minus x square plus x square to this numerator. And denominator remains the same minus second term remains the same 2x by 3 times y square minus x square into dx plus 
2y by 3y square minus x square. This term also remains the same. And you can write this minus x square by 3y times y square minus x square as plus minus x square by 3y into y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. Okay, so here also we'll change in terms of y square minus x square. So for that purpose we need to add and subtract y square. Then you can write this as y square minus x square plus x square. Consider y square minus x square as one term. Minus 2x by 3 times y square minus x square into dx plus 2y by 3 times y square minus x square plus here consider y square minus x square as one term minus y square by 3y times y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. You are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So you can split the total fraction into two terms. Then we will get y square minus x square by 3x into y square minus x square plus x square by 3x into y square minus x square minus this term remains the same 2x by 3 times y square minus x square into dx plus 2y by 3 times y square minus x square plus again you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split the total fraction into two terms y square minus x square by 3y into y square minus x square minus y square by 3y into y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. y square minus x square gets cancelled and here 1x gets cancelled and here also y square minus x square gets cancelled, 1y gets cancelled. Then 1 by 3x plus x by 3 times y square minus x square minus 2x by 3 times y square minus x square into dx plus 2y by 3 times y square minus x square plus 1 by 3y minus y by 3 times y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. 1 by 3x plus. Now, from the next two terms, will be having the same denominator, right? The numerator will get x minus 2x to dx plus 1 by 3y plus. So consider the first term and the third term. We'll have the same denominator or the LCM of these two will be 3 times y square minus x square since you are having same denominator 
and in the numerator you get 2y minus y into dy equals to 0. Then 1 by 3x plus minus 2x plus x is minus x by 3 times y square minus x square into dx plus 1 by 3y plus 2y minus y is y by 3 times y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. This becomes 1 by 3x plus into minus minus x by 3 times y square minus x square into dx plus 1 by 3y plus y by 3 times y square minus x square into dy equals to 0. Which is in? m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form. m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form. Where m1 equals to 1 by 3x minus x by 3 times y square minus x square and n1 equals to 1 by 3y plus y by 3 times y square minus x square. If the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x, we can say that the reduced equation, that is the equation obtained by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y and n1 with respect to x. Partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to dou y dou y of 1 by 3x minus x by 3 times y square minus x square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. This is equal to partial derivative of first term minus partial derivative of second term is equals to partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0 minus here x by 3 is constant so you can write this as x by 3 into partial derivative of 1 by y square minus x square which is equals to minus x by 3 into partial derivative of 1 by y square minus x square is minus 1 by y square minus x square whole square into partial derivative of inner derivative sorry inner function with respect to y which is equals to minus into minus plus x by 3 times y square minus x square whole square into now we can split this as partial derivative of y square with respect to y minus partial derivative of x square with respect to y is equals to x by 3 times y square minus x square whole square into partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y 
minus partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is 0, which is equals to 2xy by 3 times y square minus x square. 3 times y square minus x square whole square. Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is 2xy by 3 times y square minus x square whole square. Now let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to dou by dou x of for n1, 1 by 3y plus y by 3 times y square minus x square. This is equals to since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. Partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. equals to partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 plus here y by 3 is constant so you can write this as constant into partial derivative of 1 by y square minus x square with respect to x is equals to y by 3 into Partial derivative of 1 by y square minus x square with respect to x is minus 1 by y square minus x square whole square into partial derivative of inner function is equals to minus y by 3 times y square minus x square whole square into we can split this into two terms partial derivative of y square with respect to x minus partial derivative of x square with respect to x which is equals to minus y by 3 times y square minus x square whole square into partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 minus partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x is equals to minus into minus plus 2xy by 3 times y square minus x square whole square. It is clear that the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of m1 with respect to x. Therefore, dou m1 by dou y equals to dou m1 by dou x equals to 2xy by 3 times y square minus x square whole square. From this we can say that the reduced equation is exact. So we have reduced the given equation to xz. Now we can find the general solution of 2 which is the general solution of 1. We know that the general solution of xz equation is given by integral over x m dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to c. Now let's consider the first integral. Integral over x m1 dx. Here we'll be integrating 
since we are having equation in m1 dx plus n1 dy form, right? The equation of xz or the xz equation is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form. So, we will take m1 and n1 here in the formula. You will be integrating m1 with respect to x treating y as constant. Z equals to integral of for m1, 1 by 3x minus x by 3 times y square minus x square. into dx is equals to integral 1 by 3x to dx minus integral x by 3 times y square minus x square into dx. Now let's write the constants outside the integral is equals to 1 by 3 into integral 1 by x dx minus 1 by 3 into integral x by y square minus x square into dx. We know that integral f dash of x by f of x into dx equals to log mod f of x plus c. If f of x equals to y square minus x square, then f dash of x is equals to, that is derivative of f of x with respect to x, 0. Minus derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x, right? So, in order to apply this formula, we need a minus 2 in the numerator of second integral. We need some minus 2 here. So, for that purpose, what we'll do is we'll simply multiply and divide 2. This equals to... 1 by 3 integral 1 by x dx. Take this minus inside the integral. You can write this as 1 by 3 into integral. Multiply and divide 2 into x by y square minus, minus x square into dx. So we took minus inside the integral and we have multiplied and divided 2 to the integral equals to 1 by 3 into integral 1 by x dx plus 1 by 3 into take this 2 outside the integral we'll get minus 2x by y square minus x square into dx which is in f dash of x integral f dash of x by f of x form. Right. So, now we can apply this formula here. This is equals to 1 by 3 into we know that integral 1 by x dx is log mod x plus 1 by 3 to the 6 into integral f dash of x by f of x into dx is log mod f of x. For f of x equals to y square minus x square. Integral over x m1 dx is equals to 1 by 3 log mod x plus 1 by 6 log mod y square minus x square. Now, consider the second integral terms of n1 free from x into d by We are having n1 equals to 1 by 3y plus y by y by 3 times y square minus x square. So the terms which are free from x is 1 by 3y is equals to integral terms of n1 free from x. Free from x is 1 by 3y into dy which is equals to 1 by 3 into integral 1 by y 
dy which is equal to 1 by 3 into integral 1 by y dy is log mod y. The general solution of the given equation is general solution of equation 2 that is reduced equation is the general solution of 1. Okay, so we are writing the general solution of 1 directly is result obtained from the first integral 1 by 3. log mod x plus 1 by 6 log mod y square minus x square plus result obtained from the second integral is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 log mod y equals to c. Then take 1 by 3 common from the first three terms or all the three terms of LHS. You will get 1 by 3 times log mod x plus 1 by 2 into log mod y square minus x square plus log mod y equals to c. Then log mod x plus 1 by 2 log mod y square minus x square plus log mod y equals to 3 into c, 3c. Since c being constant, we can write 3c as c. Then log mod x plus 1 by 2 log mod y square minus x square plus log mod y equals to c. Then log mod x plus we know that m log n equals to log n power m then we can write 1 by 2 log y square minus x square as log y square minus x square power 1 by 2 plus log mod y equals to you can write this constant as log c since you're having all the terms in log so we'll write constant as log c then we know that a power 1 by 2 equals to square root of a then we can write y square minus x square power 1 by 2 as square root of y square minus x square log mod x plus log square root of y square minus x square plus log mod y equals to log c. Then, log x plus log square top y square minus x square plus log y equals to log c. We know that log a plus log b equals to log a b. Then you can write the first two terms as log a plus log b equals to log a b plus log y equals to log c. Again, from these two, log a plus log b equals to log a b x y into square root of y square minus x square x y into square root of y square minus x square equals to log c we know that a log a equals to log b then a equals to b we'll get x y into square root of y square minus x square equals to c. By squaring on both sides, 
in order to remove the square root we'll square this on both sides x y square root of y square minus x square whole square equals to c square then x square y square square root of y square minus x square whole square equals to c square We are having square root of y square minus x square whole square, right? We know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2. Then we can write square root of y square minus x square as y square minus x square power 1 by 2 whole square. And we know that a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n. Then we can write this as y square minus x square power m into n. Here two gets cancelled. This equals to y square minus x square is equal to then this becomes x square y square into square root of y square minus x square whole square is y square minus x square equals to c square which is the required general solution so we have seen a non-exact equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye